want to see excitement in the house so be 2022 i think the students should be the most happiest people here so be 2022 now that now 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 that you are papas and mamas shouldn't mean we have gone through here we know how we do it in the bible school so whether you are papa or mama we still have those legs am i right so come on i like everyone who has gone through the all nation for christ bible institute can we stand up and let's come on come on come on somebody scream why you are still standing why you are still standing one man that i love one man that was an encourager to me when i needed it at that particular time that i love with all my heart one man who loved our papa so much i don't think there's anyone that i've ever had who seemed to talk about papa in the whole like this man in his preaching in everything and we are proud that he is part of papa's legacy i mean some of you say he has not been to all nations but he was the word of faith maybe you're not maybe you're not aware of that he is part of the agape force yes active member active active member he sleep in the hosa he drunk in the hosa he wake up in the hosa everything about him is in the hosa ladies and gentlemen one of the leading voice in our nation one of the leading voice in africa and one of the leading voice in the world help me welcome my brother and my friend apostle Woo! professor Chelsea Suleiman, presiding bishop, Omega Ministry International. As a man to pray. Yeah. Well, let's give the Lord a hand, everybody. Let's give the Lord a hand. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say it's it's so gratifying to be standing here. Oh, hey. And I want to appreciate all ministers who've been a blessing to us in so big 2022. It's honorable. This is something that we all, most of us, have looked forward to. The convergence of all the products of Papa and where we can just see fellowship and appreciate God for taking us through a man under the brackets of Ben Senedahosa, a great man of God. I've said this to people. I said, I do not know any man of God that has crossed the um, valleys and corners of Africa like Papa Ben Senedahosa. And it's, it was such a great, great thing to be connected to that man and still connected everywhere i minister god's word i make reference to that everywhere i did a series on television on the life of the archbishop and for for weeks i was just talking about him explaining some of the crusades of the 85 etc zaire zimbabwe arari fire conference uh, australia crusade lagos miracle crusade because i don't know what you took from papa but what i took from papa is power <laughs> That's, 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 that's what I extracted from Papa. Power. And I will, I will not say anything further without appreciating our mother for maintaining, not just maintaining, for taking it to the next level. I tell pastors, I tell pastors that when you marry the right person, you have a prayer partner. You marry the wrong person, you have a prayer point. And God, God, God has, has made it clear that nobody could have done it better because of what we see. 
in one minute can we lift our hands toward heaven i have 20 minutes maybe three minutes is gone already just lift your hands and pray in the holy ghost just pray in the holy ghost pray in the holy ghost oh shata krimadisha generations after generations keep praising you yet no one sums you up and i ask the lord what name fits you he says yeah generations after generations keeps praising you yet no what sums you up and i ask the lord what then fits you and he says yeah yeah the hallowed one yeah the holy one yahweh Holy Spirit Thank you, Holy in Jesus name Amen. now let, let's be seated like I said one thing I took from the ministry of our father please all protocol Julia job I appreciate Bishop James sir the Lord bless you sir great man of God let's give God a hand for all the proteges of our father here Amen one of the things I extracted there were several amongst them one of them is power we live in a generation of power it's an error to be empty this is the generation of the power of God. And God's great general revealed and by his life made us see how it was so important to give color to the gospel by power. The church of God was founded in power. And whatever is founded in power is maintained via power. We are in the generation of the power of God. And you must begin to understand. Now, sitting back, I'll give you a clue. My mother was sick. We come from a Muslim background. And she was sick. And they took her everywhere in 1983. And nothing happened. And they brought her to Papa. 1984. Papa was in a Mercedes. And he came out of the car and laid hands on her. That was the end of that infirmity. When I saw that, I liked it. Hear me? In Genesis 32, 28, he said that as a prince with God, that was power with men and with God. In Exodus 9, if you read verse 6, he says that I have raised thee up so that I might display my power. In Exodus 15, verse 6, he says that the right hand of God has become glorious in power and thy right hand has dashed in pieces thy enemies. The Bible says in Psalm 62, verse 11, why once God has spoken, twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. In Psalm 66 verse 3, he said, through the greatness of thy power, shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. In Psalm 79 11, he said, through the greatness of thy power, thou hast preserved those who were, who were kept in prison to die. In Psalm 110 and verse 3, the Bible says, in the day of his power, his people shall be willing. The Bible says in Matthew 22 29 in Mark 12 24 ye do err not knowing the scriptures or the power of God in Acts 1 verse 8 the Bible says you shall receive that power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you in 1st Corinthians 2 verse 4 he said my preaching and my speech was not in the enticing words of man's wisdom but with demonstration of the spirit and power in 2nd Corinthians 4 verse 7 he said we have this treasure in 18 vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us the Bible says in 2nd Corinthians 4 verse 20 the kingdom of God is not in world but in power the Bible says in 1st Chronicles 29 11 to him be the glory the victory and the power somebody shall power we saw 
listen to me I had from my in Auchi I stay in Auchi I live there there was a young lady that was born deaf and dumb all her life deaf as of then when Baba came for crusade she was about 39 all her life she's been deaf we were in the crusade 1992 we are there Papa was ministering he stopped the whole place was rowdy 1992 rowdy he stopped he said where is the blind where is the deaf where is the dumb the place was calm as soon as he said where is the blind the deaf the, dumb, the place was calm everybody wanted to see we're in that generation of power this young girl was prayed for her ears popped open her tongue got loose everybody became normal sir this generation is too if you lack god's power this generation is too busy to hear you and hear me and hear me well that power is on the platform of encounter so much other encounter in matthew 17 look at this jesus climbs on the mountain elijah appeared moses appeared and began to encourage him because these are the two men in the days of their ministry that were close to contemplating suicide elijah said kill me i'm not better than my fathers in first Kings chapter 19 moses at that point said lord take my life and let these people live so they had contemplated suicide and here was jesus in that same bracket saying if it be thy will let this cup pass over me it takes a man who has been through what you have been through to be an encouragement to you so they appeared on the mountain to encourage him listen to this and when jesus came down from the mountain he saw them struggling with a demon possessed and he asked a question it was a question of condition but the response was a response of duration how long has this been that was a question and guess what they said they said this demon throws him into the water and throws him into the fire oh throws him to the water throws him to the fire now jesus was coming down from the mountain where he had just had an encounter with the custodian of the fire and the custodian of the water which was elijah and moses oh um, my you don't hear what i'm saying here I, 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 he had just had an encounter with the custodian of these two dimensions hear me and hear me well as he came out he looked at them and he said come out of this boy and he asked why out why could we not cast this out meaning these guys have been doing teaching practice in the deliverance ministry but this was a demon that came from heads am i speaking to somebody and he said why could we hear me it's very important that we revitalize that side of our father it was a generation of power am i speaking here i was to have a crusade in a certain islamic nation called sudan southern sudan a city of juba and we are doing crusade from nations to nation and they said to me why do you want to come i said we're coming to so that there'll be peace in the country the war will stop we'll pray for the sick they say why not you come let's see you pray for the sick i said during the crusade they said no we won't give you the stadium until you come we have the sick we have the blind in fact we have the streets for the street and the, the, for the blind come i flew there and my wife said what are you going to do i said let's do a crusade before a crusade <laughs> so we went there and as i landed they, you see it was it was it was an intention for mockery and a deliberate intention for humiliation but i needed to preach in that place i needed to enter that islamic city and as i landed i said can i go to where i'm staying they say stay where straight to the streets and they took me with the convoy imagine carrying me with securities with convoy with immigration officers straight to praying for the sick before you give us the stadium we went there i saw people that was when i saw cripples in the midst of cripples people's necks are twisted i saw people's eyeballs are like that i've seen, I've seen miracles we had a crusade in liberia we saw about 14 wheelchairs empty we saw crusade miracles in cameroon but when i saw those things i must be honest to you men of god the son of man was looking for a window to pass and i remembered what papa said in one school of wisdom he said they ask me papa if you pray for the sick and they are not healed and i asked them if i pray for the sick and they are healed what if they are not healed what if they are healed so i said there is no crime i will just go there pray the prayer I was walking there and I laid down on the first one. I was walking past, the person stretched and stood up. I said, wait oh. I laid on the second one, laid on the third one, laid on. Now, one of the immigration officers was waiting for someone, and that was his wife. She was blind. So the guy stood by me and was just quiet. All that she was screaming at those miracles. He never said a word. When he got to that spot, he stood. And I said, In the name of Jesus, receive your sight. I was going 
and I saw the man crying. The eyes were open. As I was going further, the man stopped me. He said, when is the date of the crusade? I said, can I go? He said, no, 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 no. Back to the airport. You are going back to the airport. During the crusade, they gave security. We had a crusade in Uganda last week. The wife of the president was there. And they said the crusade in Juba is still being talked about. Because when I came down to this man, I drank the, I drank the revelation of power. Papa moved in power, sir. Papa moved in power. A man in the book of Mark chapter 2, the Bible said the man was sick of the palsy. He was brought by two friends. They came in when the program was almost out of time. So, sir, the man that was lame in Mark chapter 2, he was not just lame, he was late. straight to the streets and they took me with the convoy imagine carrying me with securities with convoy with immigration officers straight to praying for the sick for you give us the stadium we went there i saw people that was when i saw cripples in the midst of cripples people's necks are twisted i saw people's eyeballs are like that i've seen, I've seen miracles we had a crusade in liberia we saw about 14 wheelchairs empty we saw the crusade miracles in cameroon but when i saw those things i must be honest to you men of god the son of man was looking for a window to pass. And I remembered what Papa said in one school of wisdom. He said, they ask me, Papa, if you pray for the sick and they are not healed. And I asked them, if I pray for the sick and they are healed. What if they are not healed? What if they are healed? So I said, there is no crime. I will just go there, pray the prayer. I was walking there and I laid hands on the first one. I was walking past, the person stretched and stood up. I said, wait oh. I laid on the second one, laid on the third one, laid up. Now, one of the immigration officers was waiting for someone and that was his wife. She was blind. So the guy stood by me and was just quiet. All that she was screaming at those miracles. He never said a word. When he got to that spot, he stood. And I said, in the name of Jesus, receive your sight. I was going and I saw the man crying. The eyes were open. As I was going further, the man stopped me. He said, when is the date of the crusade? I said, can I? He said, no, 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 no. Back to the airport. You are going back to the airport. During
during the crusade they gave security we had a crusade in uganda last week the wife of the president was there and they said the crusade in juba is still being talked about because when i came down to this man i drank the i drank the revelation of power papa moved in power sir papa moved in power A man in the book of Mark chapter 2, the Bible said the man was sick of the palsy. He was brought by two friends. They came in when the program was almost out of time. So, sir, the man that was lame in Mark chapter 2, he was not just lame, he was lit. He was both lame and lit, but there was power in the house. I need us in Sobek to go back with this revival. I studied my Bible. The Bible tells me that a word was spoken by the Lord on the generation of Noah. He said it shall rain back to back for 40 days. It was raining 40 days continuously. Not because there was a problem in the sky. It was not a, cl a climatic dysfunction. It was open heavens. Heavens were open and they rained back to back. And the Bible says Noah sent a turtle dove and sent a pigeon. And the pigeon went out and he came with olives in his mouth and he sent a dove and the dove went out and had nowhere to settle down his feet and he returned back and he sent the dove the third time and the bible said the dove never returned i was asking myself where did that dove go until i read in the book of luke chapter 3 when jesus was being baptized as he came out of the water the bible said a dove sat on it and there was a word spoken this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased can we shout power again Power. <laughs> 1991 93 school of ministry papa was sharing some testimonies i started crying in the crowd i was crying god's servant bishop david Oikba was there some other bishops were there like bishop Osauni and all of that and i was just in the crowd i sat somewhere i was crying just hearing those testimonies i was crying i was just crying it came out someone administered and he was just sharing the testimonies of all his programs, his crusade. I was hearing testimonies. And I said, we have one life to live. What? We have one life to live. And I just kept crying. And I never knew <laughs> that the roaring from my, 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 my tears was irritating some ushers. So they came to me. I was saying, we'll send you outside. Why are you crying? We'll send you outside now. And Papa saw it. Papa said, hey, hey, young man, come here, come here. And he took, you know if Papa anoints you, you know somebody anoints you. He will finish one massive bottle. He said, young man, come here, come here, come here. And Papa said, kneel down here. And emptied the oil. Sir, that was my ordination service. <laughs> as far as I was concerned, poured it on my head. Why? So it takes a functional heart to attract genuine power. A functional good heart. Listen to me. To attract. Why is, why is Papa's life a blessing to everybody? If it is genuine, it is transferable. Power. Something else, and I'll drop the mic. I'll drop the mic. I'm, I'm, it's my 20 minute complete, sir. I should go on. Okay. Okay, now listen. The second thing I drew from Papa was courage. Many of us speak truth to power today because we, we came from the loins of Papa. Courage! Elijah ran, took off from here, took off from Jezebel, and God said to Elijah, He said, Well, since you ran from here, let me tell you what you do. Anoint Azir to be king. Anoint Jehu to be king of Israel and anoint Elisha to be prophet in your in your room to be prophet in your room in other words God was saying that Elijah what you carry is too heavy to be downloaded on one person it has to be tripartite. you need to spread it on three people and it was one of those anointed from the loins of Elijah called Jehu that killed Jezebel. So what was God invariably saying? God was saying that this woman you are running from, you are bigger than her three times. Courage. Courage. Courage to speak truth to power. Courage to make national declarations. Courage that no matter the conspiracy. 2017. 
some ministers called me to Abuja after I spoke against the killings on national scale and they sat me down drew a bag of money and said to me take this and shut up and they drew out um, an AK-47 they drew out a newspaper they said choose three you take this or you go by these two and I said I don't understand what you mean there was a gun there was newspaper they said because if you don't do that in the next one year we'll make sure in this country you don't hold the microphone again we'll make sure keep your mouth shut and I said to them I never knew what I said was actually a big deal now I want to start talking I said if you want to come for me please you are very free to bother yourself because I'm going to keep talking and I kept on speaking I had a revelation in 2018 close to my birthday and I'm around March and I saw Papa in that revelation I was praying and crying praying and crying and Papa said he said look at what is happening in the church look at what's happening in the country he said and the ministers are silent so I was trying to get his attention but he put his hand you know the way Papa does he put his hand like that and bent his head he said the ministers are silent he said it's time for them to say something to stop Herod to stop Pharaoh to stop wicked and he said something that broke me he said if I were here it would not be so and I came forth out of that revelation and began to make declarations and one of the time when they were doing all kinds of stuff mama wrote me a letter and mama said son papa went through all of these attacks went through all of this name calling so long you are doing the right thing keep pushing now listen to me one time i sat back at the airport and i was so angry i said lord my reputation my reputation and the holy ghost asked me you still have reputation i said what do you mean he said i jesus made myself of no reputation I said, so what should I have? He said, integrity. I said, what is the difference? He said, reputation is man's view of you. Integrity is my view of you. <laughs> courage. Courage. And courage is functional when it stems and comes from a sound mind. The biggest nation today is not America, it's not Europe, it's not Asia. The biggest nation is the nation of the mind and that is why it's called imagination it's a nation of the mind we drew courage from papa we drew that ability to know that no matter the battles of life god is still god can we repeat that say god is still god, god, is still god. one more time say god is still god can we say that again god is still god again say god is still god i'm going to round up when I look at all happening today, especially those of us who are in Nigeria, it's time to speak. It's time to speak. It's time to say to the seed of Ishmael, you have gone too far, you will go no further. They are not, they are not from our lineage. Abraham is not the father of Ishmael. Abraham is not the father of Ishmael. Abraham is not the father of Ishmael. Abraham is the father of Ishmael. <laughs> and that was why the Lord said unto one minute but that's why the Lord said unto Abraham take Isaac thy son thy only son as Abraham so Ishmael is not my brother you can't be killing me and say you're my brother I, 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 I'm stepping on toes. Don't worry, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. But it's time for us to speak truth to power. Enough of, I, I, I loved what, what Mama Nkechi was just sharing with us. And I must say this to you, Ma, publicly. God's servant, Bishop Aford, was a man who affected my prayer life. Bishop Aford, when you see that man, you see somebody who prays. And I was looking for an opportunity to say that to you face to face. But because one of the things we learn from Papa is prayer. Morning prayer, morning prayer. You, Papa does not joke with it. Morning prayer. But today, what I see today, I almost get angry. Too, I'm sorry. If, see, you may not be too happy with me, but it's okay. We'll settle later. Now, listen. Papa was not a motivational speaker. Where did we get all this talk, 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 no prayer? Talk, 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 no prayer. No power, no prayer, empty. People 
come to church sick, they go more sick. When there is no prayer, that is when you think of gossip and gimmicks and games. No. When there's no prayer, people go for alternative and play games because they can't pray. Why fake what can be real? Why fake what can be real? If you can pray, Psalm chapter 4 verse 1, hear me when I call, oh God my righteousness. He says very prophetically in Psalm 18 verse 3, he says I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. I left Psalm 55 from verse 16 and 11. As for me, I will call upon God. Evening and morning at noon will I pray. I will cry aloud. He shall hear my voice. And the generation of prayer... Papa was a man of prayer. Not gathering. There's a level of your work with God where materialism loses taste to you. You don't, you don't save. You don't save to buy nothing. It just comes. My first private jet was bought for me by two people. I don't know them till date, but I know the plane. I know the plane, but I don't know the people who bought it. I know the plane. They say, keep us anonymous. I said, no problem, sir. Bring the plane. Keep your anonymity, but bring it. it. It's on the plan. You don't pursue these things. They come on the platform of prayer. One of the problems in the church today, among ministers of God, is the principle of A, B, C. It has finished the church. A, attendance. B, building. C, cash. A, B, C is the problem of ministers. A, attendance. B, building. C, cash. They believe the bigger the church, the bigger the name. All that is nonsense. A time comes, it becomes ephemeral. It becomes it's transient. God rewards your labor to encourage you. God expands your work for you to know that your days of labor is not in vain. Not for you to settle down and think you have become a Lord. Let's be upstanding. Alata Grasha Niasa. You are a student in the Bible school, you can, you can get an impartation. Yes, you can get you can get an impartation now. You, you can you can you can get drunk in power now. You can get drunk. Let's awaken that that fire of prayer, that fire to pray. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. You are good. You are kind. You are more than least. Lost for words. Trying to describe you. Elohim. Elion. Alishinewi. Your greatness is all I see.
Father, in the name of Jesus, all hands lifted to heaven. Holy Spirit, we ask that you breathe on us a baptism of fresh fire, a baptism of fresh unction, that we be armed from this meeting with tangibility of your presence. The, the tangibility that we return back for raw evangelization by the power of God. We give you praise. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Alana Masaka. Brothers, pray in the Spirit.